Tag noch. Ja, yeah. have a good day. So we're back on the road here in Greece and today we will exploring for a bit the Trans-Europe Trail that Greece here has to offer. And yeah, Greece so far is quite hot. Like it's absolutely unbelievably hot today. My time was quite all right. I, I shared cashews with uh, the hostel guy who had the night shift while editing. That was nice and it's crazy uh, how much social interaction was happening in that small little village. And a lot of people were speaking German and that's actually like, I really want to urge you guys to pick up a second language because uh, if you don't do the approach that like normally school makes you take of learning a language, you can learn a language so quickly. Like so many people in those uh, in this village were speaking German and when you then got to talking with them, you, you realized those people learned the language like really quickly because some of them like worked construction in the 70s or in the 80s uh, in Germany and picked up German like perfectly fine and were still able to fluently speak it after decades of not using the language. But before we make our way to the Trans-Europe Trail, we will be checking out a little local waterfall that the people in the village have recommended to me. This is the, you can already see here is a little river. Going to apparently go over some gravel road and then now that we have the ABS switch, let's use it. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, slowly the Ryan field is turning into a true scrambler. Uh, when I first got the bike, my initial idea was to uh, change the suspension to uh, Himalayan suspension. I, I don't think that will work in like road worthiness wise, but uh, we can try and yeah, maybe that's a project for the future to make this bike even more scramblerish. That's a bit the problem with the Ryanfield uh, Interceptor. It leaves so many options because I would also love to give the bike a full fairing, improved suspension and build like a little real mean corner carver out of the bike. I can already promise you as soon as the warranty runs out on this bike we will have a lot of fun. Honestly everything is so absolutely dry that I'm a bit scared to go through here as yeah 40 degrees are no joke and like with the engine with the bike being so hot and everything oh they're keeping bees around here nice uh, the mountains look incredible do we get off the path so google maps says this is a road i don't want to dr drive through the super dry stuff with the hot exhaust i don't want dry grass or touching my exhaust you know because the locals told me to, to check out this waterfall, but they don't want me to burn down their landscape. Pretty sure. My navigation system must be having a complete stroke. It doesn't know anything anymore. It's getting very rocky out here. But I mean, we can handle it. So, we should be reaching our goal any minute now. I'm guessing that down there is the spot. The people told me that here is supposed to be a source of water, of the river. And I mean, I can hear water flowing. So let's get down here. Without falling on our faces. So, yeah. So, this beautiful little spot is what the people have told me about. Wow! That's very impressive.
Let's continue on this super hot day, our road to the Trans Europe Trail. So guys, my audio device is running out of battery and I sadly cannot find batteries to to put into it at, uh, at a gas station or anything. Uh, and it, it leads me to another thing that I have to decide for today. We have to abort our plans for the Trans Europe Trail. It is simply just too hot. I am worried with going over the Trans Europe Trail that I destroy the bike and also, and also myself that I maybe get some health issues because it is just too hot and then being i don't know five kilometers away from civilization and having to take a walk is very doable and in most conditions but today not really all that much also i'm pretty sure i would damage the air cooled motorcycle honestly we now drove mostly over the highway and that was already almost unbearable like even with all the wind from the front and uh, the jacket open and yeah like today there's actually no point in being outside even uh, so what should we do now instead uh, I think we should still do some kilometers because I, I have to reach Athens because that's the place where I can leave my motorbike on the way we should definitely try to find a air-conditioned place because this is unbearable. I just drank like two bottles of water at the gas station and we haven't went that far and I'm already again completely through. And I'm not even wearing motorcycle pants anymore because I had to switch to normal pants as it was just not possible with the motorcycle pants. I, uh, I've already gotten quite the headache and yeah, let's find a, a cold place to chill. Guys, to be honest, this is not fun at all. So it's now slowly becoming evening, so the midday sun is gone, but I now just stepped out of McDonald's, out of the like uh, air-conditioned area, and the, the weather here is a fucking catastrophe. Like, it's literally unbearable. Like, if, if I would have this weather at home, I would just stay inside. Like, this is a, like, get some ice cream and watch some Netflix type day.
I made my way to Thessaloniki, the second biggest town in Greece, for a place to stay. Sadly, my audio device stopped working as I ran out of battery. But I was talking about how I was really exhausted from the trip and also how that is not an unusual thing as I've been on the trip by now since two months and did around 30 videos. So it's kind of like saying one of the 30 beers must have been bad. With the extreme heat, I decided to call it a day and found a place to stay. If you like what I do here on YouTube, feel free to check out the links in the description for my Patreon and see you guys in the next one.